thanks to the organizers uh, for inviting us. Uh, I think the beauty of, of being here is not just the pleasure of speaking, but mostly the pleasure and interest of listening to other speakers. And I think the presentations this morning were really inspiring. So many thanks again. Um, actually, Stephanie asked us to think about three questions when we prepared the, uh, the session. And the first one is, how do we measure student success? Uh, the second one would be, which interventions do we provide that would kind of guarantee uh, student success from our perspective? And, uh, and then I think we can keep the questions for uh, uh, the third part, which would be about government involvement and industry involvement in, in, our, uh, in our business. Student success. Um, what I'm going to say looks like a tourism, I guess, here in this country, where uh, I would say almost all students tend to calculate the IRR, you know, the internal revenue rate of, uh, of the cost of the studies versus the wage that they will get at the end of it. But in Europe, and mostly in France, we need to reaffirm very strongly the fact that student success is foremost employability and a good job at the end, because it's not clear for everybody yet, especially in our country. And uh, so it's something which is of foremost importance. Now, with this being said, employability just at the end of the student pathway is one thing. As mentioned this morning, you need to kind of adapt this to the fact that more and more students go through several institutions, and so you need to track this. So uh, this is certainly something to which we must be attentive. In our case, for instance, we've just launched a bachelor's program, which is brand new, which is something that has never been done in France, and, and we expect that our bachelors will go to your institutions, to big and renowned institutions in the world. And so once they get out from this pathway, uh, we will kind of have joint responsibility for the employment and uh, the employability. Second consideration on employability, we all know that jobs will change over time. And uh, so what we do at Polytechnic is we need to measure the employability, which is 100% after, after graduation. But we measure it after five years to make sure that our uh, former graduates uh, have been able to follow the changes in the, in the job market. And, and finally, I'd say that a good measure of, uh, of, the, of student success is the willingness of students to give back in the philanthropic effort, because once they have become rich, which we hope for all of them, uh, I mean, they should recognize the value of what we have brought. So that's first consideration, employability. And employability not just in, in terms of wage, but also in terms of the interest of their job. I mean, uh, they, students are not just uh, cash machines, they are also individuals. And so I think we must think also in terms of the interest of their job and the contribution to society. And this is my second point on student success. I'd say that globally, even if data science tend to look more and more to individual, but globally, I think we should be very attentive to the impact that we have on society uh, at Polytechnic for a number of reasons. We have really developed a vision which is inspired by the, uh, the vision of the of, of founders. You know, we were founded back in 1794 at the time where France was very near to be invaded by uh, enemies. And the revolutionary government at that time realized that all the discoveries of the Age of Enlightenment would be, should be provided to the most brilliant subjects in France to help protect the, the nation. And so we've turned this into another vision, which is uh, pretty much aligned with the Make the Planet Great Again of our uh, new president, <laughs> which is uh, the fact that uh, the planet is threatened by four major challenges, the economic challenge, the climate challenge, the sanitary challenge, infections and aging, and the security challenge. And what we tell our students is that collectively, they have to solve those challenges, and I think student success will also be measured by the collective ability of our students to address those challenges that humanity is facing. Now, which interventions, and I'll uh, close with a few considerations on the type of inter interventions that we try to develop, uh, which interventions to ensure student success? The first one, and again, this will seem probably pretty uh, evident here, but we have to reaffirm it because in France it doesn't go uh, without saying. First intervention is selection. And selection is not exclusion, and I think there were some debates about that this morning. 
selection is just the way of making sure that the student will be in front of the appropriate teacher with the appropriate courses. So when we select, it's not just to tell the others, the ones that we don't take, it's not to tell them that they are stupid, it's to tell them that they will not be able to receive in good conditions the high level teaching that we provide. So selection is a must from our perspective and then it's up to our governments to make sure that every student receives is able to receive the appropriate level of teaching in some institution which is more adapted to his or to her skills. So selection. Now selection poses one issue which we face a lot at Polytechnique because we get the most brilliant students from, from France and, and many from uh, inter the international scene. You get students who never fail. And so the next intervention is teaching students how to fail and rebound after failure. And Another very important intervention is to teach them how to work collectively because they've been trained in being the best and competing against each other and you really need to change that, that state of mind and teach them to work collectively. So we let them work in projects and we emphasize sport a lot in all our programs and uh, humanities and social sciences. So all, I mean, a number of interventions designed as to make sure that students are not just intellectuals and very good at maths and physics, which they are, but that they learn to work together and work collectively and not be arrogant. One of the big issues when you select the best, the most brilliant ones, is that they may be arrogant. They must learn that, you know, the world will not go just with brilliant people. They must learn to work uh, and collaborate with people who are not as smart, but who may have other qualities, and this is an important part of our teaching. Um, then the third part, the third intervention is uh, exposure to science because we're a great believer that innovation and science are the major driver to prosperity, to mass flourishing. And so we expose students to science very intensively so that they learn that science is, is really the big value creation, you know, uh, is the big uh, creator of value in our world. And the fourth intervention is exposure to industry. Lots of internships because they must learn, and that's also important in France, they must learn that industry is also where, where value is created. So we expose them to a lot of uh, internships in, uh, in industry. And um, I think with that, I close my part to leave time to colleagues and we'll be happy to take questions afterwards. Thank you.